include firing up the grill. I know just the guy who knows the forecast and can help us out. Good morning, Michael Smith. Hey there, Ashley. Good Friday morning to you. Uh, I'm at our Lady of Sorrows here in Homewood and talk about a grill that's been fired up. We've got one uh, behind us. Joining me is Adam Morell. Adam, tell, tell me about this event and what you got going on here on this grill. Yes, uh, we've got the 67th annual 4th of July Festival that we put on here. It's coming up Monday, of course. So we got up bright and early today after being out here yesterday and we're getting ready to cook up 6,000 pounds of pork, beef, sausage, chicken, you name it. Okay, so people can come out starting when? So the festival begins uh, Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning, and it goes till 3 in the afternoon. Uh, people can come all day that day. They can eat here on the grounds if they want. We'll sell them plates. They can buy it in bulk, take it home if they want. They can also come Sunday, and all day Sunday we'll sell in bulk. So they can buy uh, bulk pounds of pork or beef, sausage, whatever they like, chicken. Or they can buy slabs of ribs. So we're basically in prep mode for that right now. Yes, you are. They are prepping and doing a good job. Ooh, yummy. Can I have a bite here in a second? Uh, let's get your grill on forecast for the 4th of July. Things shaping up like this. Temperatures are going to be in the 90s. There will be um, passing showers and storms at times, but not a total washout. So don't cancel uh, your grilling plans. Just grill around that rain and isolated storm chance. That's the latest from Homewood. Now let's check in with Rachel in real-time traffic.